Hi, my name is Jay Insolaco, and I'm your host of Instinctive Talk. I want to use this episode to tell you about myself and the reasons I'm starting this podcast. On a normal, everyday introduction, I would tell you that I'm married to the love of my life. I'm the father of two beautiful children. We live in our house in northwest New Jersey, and I work for a Department of Public Works. But a part of my life that isn't commonly talked about is how I live my life in long-term recovery. I live with bipolar disorder and addiction issues. On Instinctive Talk, I want to promote hope for my peers who live with mental illness. I also hope to provide insight to those family members who are supporting them. My life of recovery started in 1995 when I was 19. I was induced into a manic episode of bipolar disorder by abusing drugs and alcohol in an all-night rave club in New York City. I started experimenting with the drug ecstasy. Over a three-week period of experimenting with drugs, my drug intake doubled, then it tripled. On the last night that I went to the club, when the drugs kicked in, I literally saw a flash of light before my eyes. That flash was the start of what I called my enlightenment because I felt a sudden change of being. I felt like I knew the untold secrets of the universe. I felt like I was Jesus Christ walking the earth. I felt like I knew all the answers. This is what mania does, to say the least. Five sleepless nights later, I was committed to a psychiatric hospital and a rehab. The first seven years of my recovery, I really struggled. I struggled to keep sober, and I struggled to keep my sanity. I persistently went to 12-step programs to stay clean and sober, but I couldn't seem to stay out of the psych wards. I could accept that I was a recovering addict, but I couldn't accept my mental illness. I felt like I could control what I put into my body, which in that mindset kept me drug and alcohol free but I felt like I was in bondage with the label of mentally ill. I fell into the trap of not taking my medication when I was supposed to, then stopping them altogether. Then I would be hospitalized, then I would lose my job, and then I would have to start all over again. I had so many jobs because I didn't comply with any treatment plan. If only I had a regimen of going to sleep at a consistent time, taking my medication at the same time daily, and was open and honest about how I was truly feeling, I think it could have been much different. I guess that's why hindsight is twenty twenty. It was only when I met my wife Tracy seven years into my recovery that things changed for me. Tracy was the first person besides family and close friends who accepted me for me. Tracy ultimately helped me change my perspective on my mental illness. I didn't feel like I was in bondage anymore. After our first date, I knew there was something special about her, which made me nervous. Yeah, really nervous because I knew I needed to have that conversation about my recovery. I can remember it like it was yesterday. We were on the phone, and I told her there was something I I needed to tell her. I told her that I was in recovery, and I had bipolar disorder. Then there was a silence. I really thought our relationship was over, but she told me she wished she was with me. She told me she wanted to give me a hug. She told me that I had a lot of strength. At that moment, I felt stronger. I wanted to be better. I knew I could be better. I met Tracy in 2002. Three years later, I got a job at the Department of Public Works. And soon after that, we got engaged. We got married in November of 2006. We got pregnant and had our daughter in 2007. We bought our house in 2008. And then we had our son in 2010. Life really moved fast in those eight years. In 2011, I created Instinctive Bird. It started as a creative project to end my personal stigma about mental illness. I started by self-publishing my book, No More Crutch, which is a collection of writings that I wrote over the first seven years of my recovery. It was cathartic going over the thoughts and feelings from my past, which were in the form of poetry. It really opened me up to sharing my thoughts of mental illness. I joined NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness, and became an inner own voice speaker. This opportunity allowed me to share my story and presentations among small groups of peers and their family members. I then contacted Catherine Switz, who is the founder of the Stability Network, and became a stability leader in the New Jersey, New York area. Now, in 2022, I'm married for 15 years, my daughter is 14, and my son is 12. I have come to a stability in my recovery. In the last 20 years, there has been many ups and downs but I've lived a remarkable life in my recovery. I've gained the wisdom about recovery. Living life one day at a time, with no hospitalizations, being able to utilize a treatment plan, 
and working with my psychiatrist and my psychologist, life is pretty good. Actually, it's pretty damn great. I enjoy writing, video, and public speaking. So I've decided to use this platform to use my voice and share stories of recovery in this podcast. On Instinctive Talk, I want to share life in all its glory and hardships, to open conversations about mental health and addiction so we can all see that we are all the same. We all struggle. We all have hardships. But I think we all need truth. Nothing is perfect in life, but I believe that we can all have better days. On Instinctive Talk, I will have solo episodes, interviews, and conversations with people who seek and who have found stability in their own recovery. There will be a bi-weekly episode, so please subscribe to my podcast and please share it with the family and friends who you think will benefit from some honest and open conversation about mental health issues. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under Instinctive Bird. Please leave comments and questions on those platforms, or you can email me at instinctivetalk at gmail.com. And please visit my website at instinctivebird.com. Thanks for tuning into my trailer of Instinctive Talk, and stay tuned for more episodes coming soon. Mm-hmm.